Wix Nation, Wix Nation, what's up? It's MPS here from Wix Training Academy, and today I'm going to teach you how to make money. What do I mean? Well, I'm going to show you how to use the price quotes function in Wix Ascend. For those of you that don't know what that is, Ascend by Wix is Wix's new like marketing customer uh, customer relations management system that allows you to carry out uh, some cool functions on the business and management side of your Wix website. So without further ado, let's uh, rake in some of that moolah and show you how you do it so that way you can send your customers or your members price quotes for your services or your products. So what we're going to do is we're here in the dashboard, uh, whatever your website is, and you come in here to your dashboard and you'll see Ascend by Wix, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to customer management. We're going to click that and then we're going to go down to get paid and press price quotes. So now when you come down to price quotes, what you're going to see is you're going to see create a quote. It's very easy how you do this. You'll also see more actions so you could add your product services, the uh, payments, accept payments because you have to have a premium plan in order to do this. So that is a note. You do need a premium plan in order to accept payments through Wix. Uh, you could edit your business info, your settings, or you could send feedback. But we've already done that and let's assume we've already done that and you've gone through and you've set those proper uh, data elements up. Now we're going to go ahead and press new quote. So it's very simple. If you've ever used any type of quoting platform, any type of system to send quotes through, uh, this is going to look very familiar. If you haven't, uh, it's still very, very user friendly and very self explanatory. So number one, you give this a, uh, a title, right? So we're going to say web development platform. And then we're going to choose a customer. I'm going to go ahead and type my own name in here. Ooh. All right, I see me. Oh, there's Michael Strauch. I'm in the U.S. Uh, the expiry date, this expires on my birthday, August 1st. Those of you who didn't know, August 1st, big day for me. Uh, payment terms, this is basically, so if it's due on the receipt, this means the moment it goes out is when it's due. Uh, if it's net 15, uh, net 30, net 60, these are like how many days out from when you send it. And uh, depending on what type of business you own and run, probably depends on which of these terms you're going to utilize. You could also set custom terms to when you need it paid. So maybe you want it net three, right? You could set that net three. Then you come down to the quote details. So this is where you could enter your product and service. If you've already added products and service, uh, services, you would just simply drop it down and click whatever one it is. I have not, so I'm going to add an item. We're going to say web development. Uh, I'm not going to add one, and I'm also not going to add a price yet. So description, I'm not going to add one, but you could come through here and add a description. All right, so I'm building a big platform here, right? Okay, so let's just say I'm building a small to medium-sized platform, a lot of features, a lot of functionality. Uh, I am going to be at the $20,000 mark, okay? So I'm paying $20,000. It's a startup investment. I'm super excited. I want to get this platform built out. And look, I'm going to go ahead and add a discount here because... You know, I'm friends. I'm friends with myself. So I'll take two grand off the project, right? Uh, quantity, you could choose a quantity. And then you can actually line item. So if you've got different products you're selling or different services, you could add another item here and just keep line item iteming whatever products and services are going on this quote out to the client. Um, so then we see that we've got the price. You could add notes and you could also add legal terms right here. So if there's a note you want to the customer to see, you can add that here. Uh, if you have legal terms like it's due, their example here is within 21 days of issue, you can add that here. So it gives that individual uh, just a notice that here's what our legal terms are for this project and when this quote is due. So once we have that and we see that I'm being charged $20,000, You'll see that you get this nice little quote draft to view and preview before you send it out. So you can review the details, make sure everything looks right, make sure it looks uh, copacetic. And then you could go up here and press send. You could even print it out. Maybe you're, you know, uh, taking it with you to meet a potential client and you're going to print out the quote. Uh, you could print or press send. I'm not going to press send because quite frankly, 
Um, I don't know why I would be charging myself $18,000 right now, but you know, maybe I am and, uh, and I guess I'll have to go pay it. So I'm going to go back to edit and that's how you do it guys. So that's how you send out the price quote. That's how you send it. And you can see it already registered the customer. So that way you can edit the customer or you can choose whatever customer you have via your contacts here in Wix. So it'll send it straight to the email that you have on file for that individual. Um, then what you can do is you can have this set up so where um, once you go here and you send your price quote, it will also automatically, um, I'm going to discard this, you guys saw how you do that, it will automatically then create an invoice for that quote. So the quote is sent to the individual to accept and make sure they're on the same page and that you guys have agreed on a price, right? The invoice is where the client or customer actually pays. So you need the invoice created too. Sending the quote is step one. Once the client accepts it and the work is complete or whatever terms you've worked out, you then need to send an invoice. And the invoice is where the payment is actually completed. So uh, the way price quotes is set up when you go to create your first quote I've already done it uh, and so you guys didn't quite see that but it'll have a little check mark that says automatically create invoice for each price quote and that's what you want to do it'll save you a lot of time save you a lot of uh, stress because you don't want to have to go create a quote and then like oh crap I forgot to create an invoice for this one and then go back try to look at the quote just so much easier because it'll duplicate whatever the quote is in invoice for form with uh, payment options on there for your individual client or customer to go pay. So guys, that's that's how you rake in the moolah here using Wix, and that's how the function's carried out. So for those of you that did not know that, this is where it's at. And if you run a service or product-based business and you want to be sending quotes out or you currently are in your business and you have a Wix website and you didn't know this existed, here you go. So if this video helps you out and uh, you feel a little bit more uh, you know, wealthy just looking at the video, Hit a thumbs up, comment if you guys have any questions whatsoever, more than happy to help answer them. And don't forget to click that subscribe button, guys. This is Wix Nation. Come be part of the nation. Turn the bell notifications on. We've got a lot of tutorials. We've got a lot of videos. We've got a lot of exciting content coming up here at Wix Training Academy. I don't want you to miss it. Last but not least, guys, head over to wixtrainingacademy.com. Click Yes, I Want Free Wix content if you haven't already to get signed up on our Wix Training Academy. Or if you don't want to, uh, you know, stress, worry, or have frustration, click this Work With Us and submit your project to us. My team and I are standing by stoked to be able to take on your next web development project, website, or platform. We're super excited. We'd love to hear from you. And if you submit a project, we'll get back to you real quick so that way we can start the process of chatting about your project. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching another Wix Training Academy tutorial with MPS here, and I will catch you on the next one.